All right, Bit Wars is here. Look at all these consoles for your PC. Everything up to Nintendo Wii U. That's right. So even play and PlayStation 2 and 3. So you got the Sony's, you got the Dreamcast, you got the Nintendo's. So even the GameCube, Sega Saturn. So all those, uh, you know, 2000s. And then you got your 1990s, your 80s, you know, and, and even before. And so this is kind of a best of image. You're not going to get every single game for every single console. Um, the reason why we love this is one, check out this new theme. I mean, we've got this window in the upper left, and we got the game, what we're about to play on a flat screen TV on the right. We've got this beautiful artwork here. And something you want to know about um, the coin ops is just one, how plug and play it is. It shouldn't be this easy to emulate. And then two, when you join a game here, you'll notice it has glass effects, things like that. So it makes it look, and it has it's got bezels on the left and the right. You can see the scan lines. It's even got the glass effects it's looking really good. Play all your favorite arcade games and all your favorite console games all in one. So let's go ahead and check it out. This video was sponsored by Timu. You've probably seen them. They did a Super Bowl ad. Uh, free 90 day returns. They are doing massive discounts right now. Today's video, we're highlighting the Nintendo Switch OLED, uh, $264. And if you use, if it's your first time using Timu, they'll give you an additional $25 off. You can get a brand new Switch for $240. If you were to go on Amazon right now, the same switch would cost you around 300 and something. And um, so quite a significant uh, difference, especially on a Nintendo item, which does not go on sale very often. So a couple of the highlights about Timu is it's basically a Alibaba competitor. Although in my experience, they accept pretty much all major credit cards are easier to use. They have a ton more coupon codes. So a lot of discounts right now. You can see they're doing a Mother's Day sale. And um, for my channel, a lot of you like these portable um, retro retro gaming devices out of uh, many of them coming out of China. And why not just go direct to the source? You know, a lot of these are very, very cheap. You can see the RG35XX. It's a really popular right now, only $60. With a coupon code, it's going to lower that even more. Um, you've got the RG351. This one is brand new, the RG353P. Um, they have, you know, all the latest Amber Nick devices. Um, again, free returns. And put uh, links to all these things in the description of the video and in the in the comments so timu.com check them out a lot of good deals to be had so on first boot you'll notice it's beautiful like i said the arcade i'm not going to go through every single game is 261 if you ever downloaded a coin ops build before you're going to have pretty much the same games um so that's nothing new here what is new is the theme so let's go ahead and exit out really quick and as you see here, I got the CoinOps Legends. I downloaded it. You got to download all the RAR files, and then you go ahead and you right-click it. You go Show More. I have 7-Zip, and I just extract it all. It'll leave you with this folder here. This folder here, you might be wondering how big is this folder because many of you like to have smaller computers or what a lot of people do is they put these on old Dell, like Optiplex computers, things like that, and you can just throw this on there. Um, 256, would it fit on a 250 gigabyte hard drive? No, you probably need about a 400 gigabyte, at least 300 gigabyte with the operating system, probably 500 more likely. And here you go, you open it up. And if this is your first time, click on fix is not working. Make sure you install those if it's your first time with a first brand new build of a computer. It needs the uh, VC drivers, DirectX 9. All right. Um, and then here you go, you have a bunch of executive executable files here i've been doing bit wars that gives you everything uh, but you can do bit words with arcade and merge consoles there's different ways so if you don't like scrolling it'll organize it differently for you they also have this really cool helper right here which will give you all the controls you need as far as when you're in coin ops when you're selecting a game emulators as you see here we have sony ps2 sega model 3 playstation 3 we have redream for dreamcast pssp we even pinball fx2 outrun 2006 uh Dolphin is going to be your Wii, Wii U, Simu for your Wii U, actually, and then Dolphin for your um, Wii. And uh, what else? Advanced configs. So cool. I, it does come with background music. I went ahead and turned mine off. All I did was I double-clicked background music disable. Sat easy. And as you see here, there's all si sorts of scan lines and glass effects that you can change if you don't like the way that CoinOp sets it up for you stock. I ran this image stock. Um, and then the background theme. So as you see here, I'm going to highlight these. Um, so 
box art two legends you can see these first 20 or so 19 items are all a similar theme with just different like one is bubbles one is chrome one is curved but the look of it is the same so let's go ahead and do it with embers and uh we'll go ahead and just, all i did was double click it and we'll go back into bit wars and we'll see what this looks like and um, this is a little boring to me, but if you have, if you want something that, and so as you see here, the embers are the background. And so when you select those different ones, you get different um, backgrounds, right? And then if you notice, if I if I wait, it pops up the game and gives you a little preview. So super cool. I like how sleek and um, you know, especially if you don't have a powerful computer, that one's gonna scroll really well. And then as you see here, if we go down, they have the Arcade Legends and Consoles Bark Box Art 2 Legends. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like with a see-through dark background. We do that. We just double-click. We go back in, and it should change our theme for us. All right, when we get to the bottom of the theme list here, you'll see. So here you go. You just see a full screen. Uh, okay, so this is just the games at the top, and you go to the different names if you go up you go to the next system the system has a pop-up of the system uh, name and then you go into the the games there and you can see the, the video previews not bad not my favorite i'll show you my favorite shortly so now let's try arcade wall um so the arc the consoles are going to be box art 2 legends so just like the last one and then the arcade will be a wall of arcades okay so let's just go ahead and um see the difference there with the arcade wall. So the next five have an arcade wall. And you've all seen this before if you've seen my builds showing off the CoinOps Legends builds. Not my builds, it's their builds, me re, me checking them out. Um, they have a lot of cool little um, themes and things. So I like this, especially for the arcade section, because look how beautiful these arcade cabinets are. But when you go to consoles here, you'll notice that the consoles are just like the other themes, right? So it's really just changing that and kind of a basic blue background there but hey nothing wrong with basic i mean uh, there's the whole subdued look right a lot of people like that and moving along tv crt with uh you could do arcade posters or arcade with the wall um again i like wall better for my arcade cabinet because i think the arcade cabinets are so beautiful so i'll always go wall over just posters of the arcade but uh, so the arcade section should look similar, right? And then we go to consoles though, pretty cool. You got like a little room here. I like that, the room is cool. You got the little CRT television on top of one of those. Lava lamp, man, I don't know about lava lamps. They're cool for sure, don't get me wrong. But when I was a kid, we didn't really have them. All right, and you coin up a little stamp on the little, uh, you got the box art, and then you got the coin op stamp on the on the dresser. Okay, moving along. Here's the ones that I'm really digging. I think these are brand new. I've never seen these before. The TV flat panel. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight these just to show you. There's some with the full screen background, right, where the background takes up the full screen. And then these ones, there's a little window in the upper left corner, in the left corner. So Dark City with, all right, let's do fish tank. I wonder what kind of fish we got there. So let's go back. Let's go here. And you'll notice there's going to be a little fish tank in the upper left corner here. Let's check out this fish tank. Ah, here we go. Looks like, are those piranhas? I have no idea. All right. Um, so, uh, you have this flat screen TV. Very with short bezels. Um, the, the flat screen TV itself has small bezels. And then when you go to consoles, though, depending on the console, if there's a CRT or not. So if we go to a new system like PlayStation 3, I imagine there's no bezels, maybe? I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I see like PS3 playing in 1080p, you'd wanna pull up that whole screen. So interesting that they decided to do that, right? On the newer systems, no bezels. But like PlayStation here, that's where they draw the line, I guess, to put the, you notice there's like a CRT look the bezels. And don't get me wrong, PlayStation does look great on a CRT TV, so. I think that's the right call there as far as the type of TVs that were out then and what you probably used and what looked the best for the time. All right, so backgrounds. I think we've checked them all. So we did the window. Now we just got to do the full screen. Uh, let's do future Tokyo cityscape. Yeah, let's go to Japan here. All right, uh, then we go back and we load up Bit Wars. And so this one shouldn't be a window. It should be like a whole background. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, very different vibes, right? Like, this is a more open world vibe. But then again, I still feel, yeah, it's still like you 
look in the left, you got the curtain there, so it's like you're looking out. From the but I don't know, it just seems like a more open room to me than like the fish. It seems like you're in like a building. I guess you're in a building of open. I don't know. It seems like more of an open space here. Anyways, to each their own. Whatever makes you feel comfortable and happy. But um, seeing all these games makes me happy. And a uh, lot to play with. I like... Um, so if you're probably wondering at this point, what are the differences between, um, you know, the last Bit Wars? It seems like they added a lot more advanced consoles. I forget the last Bit Wars. I'll put the video in the description while we're going through the games here. So um, Arcade Classic is the same as pretty much all the builds. I don't think if there's a few, there might be a few extra games that I didn't see, but whatever. Game & Watch, I think, was on the last one. But I think what you're adding is a couple extra. Maybe there's some older consoles he added, but also there's these newer ones like Wii U, PS3, and more games added as well. And as we're looking through the games list here, look at this. In the bottom right corner, you'll see how many games there are. So there's about 28 Sinclair games. And something to know is that this is not this is more like an all-in-one build, not a give you everything build. So or a top twenty-five build. So they're gonna give you like the top, you know, twenty-five or so games. And many of these consoles had hundreds of games. So um, you know, if you're looking for a build that has everything on it, uh, I might recommend Virtual Man's Retro Bat build or some other builds out there. But if you just want this like a plug and play, ready to go, um, you know, uh, retro gaming image for a computer. This is great. Um, now, as far as the differences, I was going to the differences while we look at these games and just keep an eye in the lower right hand corner. That's how many games you're going to have per system. Like I said, around 25 per system. And as far as the differences, those new themes are really cool. They usually have some optimizations. They installed some new emulators for you, like Simu, stuff like that, that wasn't on the old one. And then they added some new systems as well. So that's going to be your big ones. Now, I, I said earlier they had they have a Bit Wars 1, and I reviewed that. And I'll put a link in the description. You can watch it in my CoinOps playlist on YouTube. And uh, you can merge this with like a Legends 2 or a different build. So keep that in mind. That is possible. Uh, I did a tutorial in my last video how to do that. But frankly, I'm really digging this as it sits right now. Me, myself. And I would absolutely just download this. It's uh, the download's a little. It's like 220 gigabytes or so. Uh, and then when you unrar it, we saw it was about 260 or so. Um, so it's it's not that big, and you're getting like a good eclectic mix of great arcades, right? 281 arcade games, nice solid mix. That's gonna keep you busy for a while. And then with the consoles, you're gonna get a nice mix. Now. Um, the people that aren't going to like it are going to be the people that um, want a particular game. And for those, you know, you can easily add additional ROMs to this build. You know, drag and drop the ROMs into the right emulator. Um, now, the artwork is another whole thing. But, you know, if it's just a matter of playing the game, you know, it's a fairly simple thing to do. So, you'll notice there's only four PlayStation 3 games. Something to know as far as compatibility, you know, this thing will run on, like, uh, Intel Duo Core 2, you know, you know, really low-end computer, except for PlayStation 3, you know, PlayStation 2, Nintendo Wii U. You might have to lower the resolution. Uh, a dedicated graphics card would definitely help out quite a bit there. So PlayStation, a lot of Crash. One, crash 1, 2, Warped, and Crash Team Racing. Uh, but 36 games on the PlayStation, so a little bit more in this area, which, you know, PlayStation had like a 1,000 games, so, you know, <laughs> it's a, hard to dwindle down that many games uh, when there's so many great games built for this. So Time Crisis is on here. If you want to get your light gun out, you can get your Sindin light gun or something like that. Rocking and rolling. So Wii U, um, huge fan of all these games. You know, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, if you haven't played it, love it. Legend of Zelda, love it. Mario Kart 8, love it. New Super Mario Bros. U. I know this is a controversial one. My son loves this game. He's just getting into video games and he loves it. And we recently beat it with all the star coins. We went to Star Road. When you beat Star Road, there's like a secret level that shows up in the middle. We got that done. And uh, I was hoping for maybe a little bit more... Like, I was hoping for more when you, when you spent that much time on the game. Like, you can get something else, an Easter egg, you know. <laughs> but all in all, it's so fun. And you can play up to four players. It's really cool. All right. Um, but, like, I think if you're a true gamer, a lot of people don't like it because it's, like, repetitive. And they want you to collect all these coins all the time. And it kind of, you know, think some people find it, they didn't like it for those reasons. But 
Anyways, Super Mario 3D World's fun little game. You got the cat suit, 3D, like the 3D platformers. 3D, you got it, you got it set up. Super Smash Bros, classic, and then Yoshi's uh, Wooly World, which I have not played. I'm gonna have to try this out. All right, and then moving along, you got Wii. So Donkey Kong Country Returns, Kirby's Epic Yarn, Mario Kart, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. And now this game, just for those of you who don't know, like it has different levels than uh, this one. They're actually uh, they're very similar in the way they're made, but the actual games um, and levels are different. All right, Super Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy One and Two, and then Super Mario was super good game. Um, the Wii is one of the systems that I collect. And I'm just blown away at how much some of these games cost. Like, I think Super Mario, Super Mario, this is pretty expensive. It's like $25. The other game that's actually really expensive is Mario Party, which isn't on here. And then also, um, Metroid Prime is pretty expensive, too, which they don't have it there. All right, Nintendo GameCube, another expensive system, so nice to emulate. And uh, you got Zelda, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Golf, Mario Kart, Mario Tennis, all great games. And then Metroid Prime, uh, both for Wii and GameCube, uh, both uh, fairly pricey. And then Pikmin, of course, 1 and 2, Super Mario Strikers. Wow, quite a bit of GameCube. I'm digging the GameCube. Super Monkey Ball, fun, fun game to play. Tony, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. All right. Uh, then you even have Sega Saturn on here as well. The House of the Dead. Nights into Dreams, Tomb Raider, Virtual Cop 1 and 2, some more light gun fun. If you have your Sin and Light Gun or something like that set up. And you got Road Rash. You got to take out that chain and that tire changer and get these people off you. Okay, Dreamcast, here you go. Rush 2049, Sonic, Soul Calibur, Pod Racer, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. So you got 2 and 3. I think Pro Skater 1 was on a different system. And then Nintendo 64, of course, 007, Mario Kart. So really good to see, good games. I mean, I'm sure we're missing a lot. PC Engine 24. And so uh, as we're going through the games, final thoughts, I'm digging it. Like I said, I throw it on a old Dell computer and or your own computer and then your plug and play emulating. Love the themes, love anybody who just doesn't like retro arc and, and programming it all themselves. These batch files where you can change the, the bezels and add a marquee are great. Some people are going to use this for a bar top as well. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. If you have an arcade cabinet or bar top. You can go ahead and set this thing up to, oh, there's 75 games on Nintendo, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. So quite a bit more. Um, I'm not going to go through all these. 75 is a lot. I mean, they're going to have all your main games um, for those. You know, if it's a popular game, it's on there. And then back. So there you have it. Uh, Coin Ops, another one in the books. Um, those of you that already have a coin ops build, you might not need this one, you know, but if you're looking for a build, look no further. I'll put a link to uh, backups.me. They're also on Discord. It's a community. Make sure you read up for some of the asking questions. And uh, game on. All right. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe.